So today, uh, this video is regarding internuclear ophthalmoplegia (INO). Uh, that is a very common uh, concept that must be understood by every medical student, either um, student preparing for PMDC exam, USMLE exam, MRCP exam, or College of Physician and Surgeon exam. So uh, to understand what is internuclear ophthalmoplegia, we must have a basic knowledge of extraocular muscle innervated by different nerves. So I, as you know that the eye has two types of muscle, one are intrinsic muscle and other are extraocular muscle. And extraocular muscle are those muscles that are innervated by three different nerves. Uh, one is oculomotor nerve that is called third cranial nerve, other one is abducens nerve that is called sixth cranial nerve and uh, third one is trochlear nerve that is called fourth cranial nerve. So, these extraocular uh, muscles are innervated by these three important nerves. So today, uh, to understand this um, uh, clinical sign, uh, we must understand the origin, the innervation of two important nerves, that is third and sixth cranial nerve. So, third cranial nerve, that is called oculomotor nerve, originate from the pons, uh, sorry, midbrain, from the Midbrain, midbrain, uh, third cranial nerve originated. It innervates all the extraocular muscle except lateral rectus and superior oblique muscle. And the other cranial nerve that is the concern today is abducens nerve that originate from the pons. That is sixth intercranial nerve. And sixth intercranial nerve innervates lateral rectus muscle. So two different nerves innervating two different muscles originating from two different sides, but they will perform a conjugate, a coordinated movement. And how it is possible? This is possible because of a connection between these two nerves that is called medial longitudinal fasciculus. Now we put an example for example this is your right eye this is your left eye so this is a median line and you want to move uh, you want to see to the left so when you see towards your left the extraocular muscle of left eye is abducted that is called lateral rectus muscle innervated by sixth cranial nerve that is abducens nerve and your right eye will be adapted will move towards the midline and that muscle is called medial rectus that muscle is called medial or rectus and this medial rectus is innervated by third cranial nerve so third cranial nerve originating from midbrain sixth cranial nerve originating from pons because of the action of interconnection between pons and midbrain that is called mlf medial longitudinal fasciculus these eyes are able to see or your eyeball is moving in the same direction. Suppose medial longitudinal fasciculus is highly myelinated nuclei that connects sixth cranial nerve, nuclei of the sixth cranial nerve to the third cranial nerve and it is highly myelinated. So if this nucleus because of high myelination first uh, manifestation often of multiple sclerosis is the damage of this medial longitudinal fasciculus and the condition results is internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Suppose that your medial longitudinal fasciculus is damaged. Now what happened? There is a loss of connection between third and sixth cranial nerve and you are moving towards left. Now, your left eye is abducted 
and there is the nystagmus. There is a nystagmus. But your right eye will not be able to adapt. Your right eye will look straight and your left eye will look toward the left, uh, left side. So one eye is looking straight and other eye is looking to the left. That condition is called internuclear ophthalmoplegia and that results because of the damage of medial longitudinal fasciculus and the eye that is not able to adapt the same medial longitudinal fasciculus will be damaged. For example, in this case, right eye is not able to adapt and the right medial longitudinal fasciculus that nuclei is damaged. So this is a condition where you cannot, uh, your eyeball are not able to move in the same direction. This is due to the loss of medial longitudinal fasciculus and the condition is known as internuclear ophthalmoplegia. So I hope that this video will clear your concept regarding internuclear ophthalmoplegia and the answers and the questions oftenly asked that uh, uh, about medial longitudinal fasciculus, damage of medial longitudinal fasciculus, internuclear ophthalmoplegia, they are often asked in exam and you are now easy, uh, easily, uh, you will be able to answer these questions.